Welcome back to Rudy's One Sixth World for another First Thoughts video. And just when I thought we were done for the day, Thunder Toys comes out with their latest offering. And this time it's their six scale version of the North Mythology Warrior, as well as a six scale Pegasus. Now the figure is obviously an unlicensed version of Valkyrie from the MCU played by Tessa Thompson. And in particular, she appeared at the end of Thor Ragnarok and during the final battle for Avengers Endgame in the full white Valkyrie armor. Now, Hot Toys had shown uh, prototype images at San Diego when Thor Ragnarok was released of the Scavenger Valkyrie, which looked amazing, but unfortunately it was the one character they never moved forward with. Not sure what their reasoning was, as she was clearly a standout uh, character in the movie. Uh, but someone is finally stepping in and giving us a version of her, which is great. So let's talk about the accessories first. She doesn't come with much, just two pairs of interchangeable hands, a standard plain black display a stand, which is reminiscent of early Hot Toys releases, and her Valkyrie sword. It's not much, but I don't recall the character really having anything else. I, I do like the sword though, as it has the blue hue on the blade itself, which is screen accurate, and the handle has some nice detailing from what I can see. Uh, I'd be interested to see it in hand. Now focusing on the uniform itself, I think Thunder Toys did a great job here. It looks amazing with the white fabric undersuit that has some nicely printed details on it and, and also looks like it has some texture to it. So I hate to say this and compare it to another company, but it doesn't look as cheap as the Toys era suits, uh, which is a plus for Thunder Toys. As far as the armor itself, it looks to be nicely detailed and I like the metallic finish and paint applications on the armor pieces that also shows some weathering. And overall, I do think it's pretty screen accurate. And, and it also comes with the, the blue cape that uh, has uh, seems to be a wired cape, so we can get some nice dynamic uh, poses with her on Pegasus or off of it. Now, turning to the face sculpt, uh, I, I think it's close. Now, the, the sculpt is definitely based on Thor Ragnarok. At the end of the movie, in the Battle on the Rainbow Bridge, she walks out with straight hair. Whereas in Endgame, her hairstyle is a more braided look. Uh, I do think it'd be nice to get another company to provide that head sculpt to give you the flexibility on, on screen accuracy. Uh, but going back to this one, I think it's close again. It, it's not quite there. And, and I think if you look at the sculpt versus the actual pictures of Tessa Thompson, the discrepancy is in the eyes. Maybe they're too far apart or they're too big, but that's where, where the sculpt is off. However, I do think that when you look at all the other positives, it's, it's an overall good figure and it'll fill in that gap that's missing in your Thor Ragnarok or Endgame collection. I do wish the hair was sculpted instead of rooted. I'm just not, not a fan of the rooted hair. In this case, it's not terrible, just I, I hate having to adjust it. Finally, you do have the option to buy Pegasus that she uses in the final uh, battle in Endgame. Now the Pegasus looks great with awesome texturing and paint apps. And I think they're using actual feathers for the wings, which is pretty cool. Now, Thunder Toys announcement does note that the wings have some posability, but this is essentially a statue. Uh, and he is made out of polystone, so I'm imagining there's some heft to him. And also, don't drop it or you're going to be really upset. Overall, it's a surprising, unexpected offering. I think the figure itself, minus the sculpt, looks amazing. The sculpt could be better, but I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, and I don't think we'll be getting this version of Valkyrie from Hot Toys or any other third-party company. Watch watch tonight, we're gonna get another Valkyrie uh, tease from Soso or somebody else. Uh, I do hope that Hot Toys will give us King Valkyrie from Thor Love and Thunder, but that figure has an entirely different armored look and a different hairstyle, so I wouldn't feel bad if I had both. So what am I doing? I think it's a definite pre-order on the figure. I think the positives far outweigh the negatives, and I think she'll look great with my Ragnarok figures. And if Hot Toys does move forward with another version of the character, I won't feel bad about getting this one, uh, since I think it's gonna be an entirely different look. And also, the price isn't bad. I'm seeing it on sale for 160 to 165, so pretty decent for a third-party uh, figure. The one thing I'm on the fence about is, is Pegasus. It looks great, and it would make for an amazing display piece, but it's retailing at around 260 with a 30 inch wingspan. So it's gonna take up a lot of space. So that's the one question I have. What do you what do you all think I should do? Is the Pegasus worth it? What do you think about this surprising announcement from Thunder Toys? And, and what about Hot Toys? What is their move, if any? I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts as we enter this crazy period of constant announcements from Hot Toys and third party companies. And if you're enjoying the content, 
please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll touch base on the next video.